The Lighthouse handheld 3016 particle counter can be powered either by the included lithium-ion battery or 12-volt power supply. The battery is inserted into the bottom of the unit. Holding the handheld 3016 as shown here, slide the battery door to the left to open. Pull on the battery ribbon to remove the battery. The battery will charge in the unit while plugged into power via the power jack on the left hand side. Once you have power, simply use the on off switch on the left side and you're powered up. To ensure you are taking the proper particle samples to meet your requirements, we will walk through the basic setup of a sample recipe. Start by touching the config button on the home screen. Let's review your instrument's main settings. These are accessed by touching the setting button. This particle counter has four modes. The four modes are explained in another more advanced tutorial and their functions can be found in the manual that came with your instrument. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will use Auto Mode. Select this mode by touching the Auto button on the left side of the screen. The Format buttons on the right determine how the particle counter will display your particle count data. For this tutorial, we will use the most common settings. Select the Cumulative button. Choose Normalized button and then select either cubic feet or cubic meters depending on your needs. Once you have made these selections, press the back button on the bottom of the screen. Next, touch the sample button and you are brought to the sample configuration screen. Here you can set the current sample configuration. The instrument allows you to set up an automated sample. This will give you the option to have an initial startup delay to run multiple samples with a fixed hold time between samples and of course you can set your sample size based on time or volume depending on your needs. Starting at the top of the menu, the cycles button will tell the particle counter how many samples or cycles to take before stopping. To change the value, touch the button labeled cycles, then use the numeric keypad to the right to enter the desired number of samples. In order for the new value to be recognized, you must press the Enter button at the bottom of the screen. If the cycle's value is set to zero, the particle counter will take continuous samples until the user manually stops the unit. The Delay button will set a one-time initial delay. This delay countdown will start once you start your sample. During this initial delay time, no particle counts will be taken or recorded. Once the delay is complete, your first sample will be taken. Enter your desired delay time in the same way as the cycle's value. Once you have entered your delay time, make sure to press the Enter key in order for the particle counter to accept the new value. The Hold button will set a separate time value that will determine how long the particle counter waits in between cycles when you are running multiple cycles. The Sample button will set a duration for each particle sample. You will notice that once you set up a sample time value, the volume value below it will change. These two values are linked. Changing one will affect the other. Your particle counter will calculate volume in cubic feet, cubic meters, and in liters. These values are the display values and you do not need to press enter when selecting your units. Once all the values in the boxes next to the parameter buttons are set, touch the main button on the bottom left to return to the home screen. This sample configuration will now stay in memory and when you touch the start button in the lower left, it will run the sample configuration you just set. To make it quick and easy to see the instrument's current settings, they are displayed on the right side of the screen in the gray boxes. You are now ready to start the first sample by simply touching the start button. Your Lighthouse Particle Counter has the ability to store multiple sample configurations as recipes and you can mark your samples with location labels. These and other more advanced features are covered in some of the other tutorials you will find on our website. Thank you for choosing Lighthouse Worldwide Solutions. 
We're here to make a difference.